So I got this question on Instagram about how to test reactive strength or elasticity without any equipment. I understand why this is an interesting thing to want to test, but I don't think it's very important and I don't think the results should have a large impact on your training. But this is something that's really easy that you could do to sort of test for this. You could test your standing single effort broad jump and then you could test consecutive broad jumps, like a triple broad jump or five consecutive broad jumps. Record the difference between them and or calculate the average distance per jump on your consecutive broad jumps. Larger the difference, the more elastic. The smaller the difference, the less elastic. Athletes who can store and release elastic energy more efficiently should be able to increase the distance of each subsequent jump. I think it's a really hard case to make that you can use this data and make adjustments in your training that's going to shift you one way or another that's going to make any meaningful difference in your sports performance. And just like with the RSI data, it's really easy to take that data and make adjustments that are likely to have negligible effects or even negative effects on performance because these things just aren't that predictable. You may think you want to shift into a more elastic type of athlete, but that might actually not be the case. And the level of stimulus required to make a legitimate shift is likely higher than just adding a few extra plyos and bounding sets per week into your training. And with these consecutive broad jumps, there isn't a large body of data to compare your results to anyways. I think the naked eye can probably be just as effective at estimating one's elastic abilities. So if you don't have equipment and you want to test it out, I'd recommend doing this. But keep in mind, it's probably just more interesting than informing. That's all I have. Thanks for watching the video. See you next time.